Since the early days of the church, the Mother of God has played an important role in crushing all heresies. In the first centuries, there were heresies that refused to accept the incarnation of the divine. Some denied our Lord could truly be man, others denied he could be God. Mary rendered any such separation of the God-man impossible and guaranteed the inseparability of the two natures, since Christ had been born of a woman. Protestants virulently attacked her intercessory role and queenship, which had elevated the role of women in medieval society. Luther criticized the papists who await her intercession and help, claiming that these should be reserved for Christ alone. Calvin called prayers to her horrible blasphemies and attacked her holy images. Here again, the role of Mary is to crush the Protestant sects and to be a sign of the true Catholics. The progressivist theologians who speak of Our Lady try to accommodate the Protestant sects by speaking of her in terms that can be accepted by all and downplay her role as co-redemptrix and mediatrix of all graces.